the committee that came together, you know, uh, as a priest, it's one of those things where you would say, no, that's, that's family. But if there's anybody that put in hours and all of that to Catholic Charities, uh, it was my mom. And I have to tell you, today is a very special day for us because we have her grandchildren, her children, we all came here today. You know, not too long ago, it didn't seem that maybe she might even have six to eight weeks to live. And we even thought, oh, you know, what are we gonna do tonight? What, what, what if? And I have to tell you, my mom, her whole life, she's gone. My father received so many awards and she went to every one of those awards banquets. And I've been blessed and I've gotten so many awards and my mom has been at every one of them. And when we named her for this award, she said, you know, this is the first award I've ever gotten. And I have to tell you, Mom, and you, when I think of courage, and I think of that fight, and when I saw you today get up and come here, and you look beautiful, and you're here for this family, I want you to know as Catholic Charities, we thank you. But not just as Catholic Charities, but also as your son, for that living example. We have just a little short video. Are they ready? Yeah. Okay. It sort of came from my dad. My dad went five years to uh, St. John's boarding school in outside of Collegeville, Minnesota, and one year of college, and then he went for engineering in Idaho. He was raised with the Benedictines, and he was very, very, he was an extremely wise man, maybe the wisest man I've ever known. I can remember when I was ready to go off to college. He said, Dorothy, for a lifetime Catholics, uh, what uh, what do you think sin is? And I, you know, said the normal reaction, you know, the Ten Commandments. And he said, Well, you're probably not going to kill anyone and rob the bank, but he said people like you have to be really careful of the sin of omission. You have to be very careful if you're given a lot of gifts or talents, as it says in the Bible, you will be asked what you did with them. Uh, Craig said, Mother, I think they need a volunteer over at Catholic Charity. So, you know, how many people in town is he giving suggestions to? And so uh, I went to Catholic Charities and <clears throat> really felt like I fit in. There's lots of charities, but what I particularly like about Catholic Charities, it's inclusive of everybody and it brings some dignity. It's, it's hard for a lot of people to get dignity when they have problems and things have gone wrong in their life. And I, I, I'm really proud of the way the center down there treats the people and uh, runs it. I think that's important. I, I was totally surprised because, you know, it just didn't seem like I did enough to uh, receive an award. And then, uh, you know, I, being a Catholic, something from the bishop was very, you know, impressive. I couldn't really figure out why I was getting it. And then, uh, and then I was laughing with Craig because I have been to so many ceremonies for Craig's awards and Don's, a million for Don also. And I said. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I'm getting an award. I would have to get live long enough to get this. <laughs> you, you didn't think you were going to be getting this award, did you? I heard about it about three months ago, and there's no way I thought I'd be alive because everybody came in Easter to say goodbye. So, you know, and this is sort of like, here I am, the Energizer Bunny going on. And so, uh, you know, I just appreciate everything that's happened. People have been so good to me here. Uh, in spite of being homeless, I have a nice place to stay. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, it, I think life is what you make it. Were you surprised when your son became a priest? Very. 
I mean, very. I mean, he, I don't think he meant, uh, missed the high school uh, uh, formal, his senior year from any high school. He brought girls home from college. Oh, he also, he was the type of kid, you know, that he went to Boys State, ran for governor, lost, made a fake bomb, and killed the governor. They called me, I said, it's your week with him, leave me alone. <laughs> I was very spiritual. As a kid, he always was. And sometimes he would tell me he was going to another church. And I always said, well, the point in life is to get to the beach. So I said, I'd like to go right over to Paso Robles and head for it. If you want to wander around all over, you're old enough to make those decisions, but the point is, get to the beach. <laughs> Frankly, I think kids are kind of born with a certain amount of gifts, and no matter what you do as a parent, you can help them or you can't help them. I do not believe that, uh, I think parenting is important, but I also think they have to come with a certain amount of gifts. Our oldest son was sick for many years, and it, but he's extremely strong. And, uh, you know, and so I feel like if they come with gifts and you can help them with them, then that's what parenting is. Yes, I really, really would like, I was really hoping I could make it, to get this award because I just kind of went and dedicated it to my father. I just, that was really important to me because, uh, you know, that say, hey dad, I really did try and, and do something to give me an incentive to give.